Hello, we are Real Juicy News, and I'm the Geek. Seek the Geek when you have computer problems and you need solutions. Subscribe to our channel, give us a like, add your comments below this video, and then share this video and our other videos on our YouTube channel with all you know. Especially Mac computer users, this is for them. We've never used a Mac, so we're not going to boast that we know it all in regards to Mac computers. But we came across this after having a break from trying to create or accomplish, finish our certain project we're doing. Uh, we're trying to create persistence USB wise but it's proving really really hard we are using an older system that could be Y it's an i386 computer it's very old and the software for it 32 bit it's very very rare and hard to find we did go through certain websites where they offered 15 older Win32 or 32-bit i386 software, but we found they may have been 686 or something like that because they wouldn't run. They had no trial or try before you install, etc. Cut off the internet and all sorts, and we finally came across Tiny Core OS. So we're working on that through this old, outdated. But still usable i386 PC. Persistence has proven to be a very difficult task in regards to this particular machine. But we're getting there. We happen to come across a website after we came across a software called Virus X, Virus Barrier X9 for Mac users, and we thought, really, barrier means these things will bounce off it; they can't penetrate and affect your computer. That's the impression we got. But we think about it, and we thought, yeah, it's in the wording, so you have to be very careful. You have to like read and define exactly what they're saying, because it's probably a sales pitch or something like that. It's not really something like a shield or a barrier that will prevent you from getting infections 100% no way don't believe that hype okay we came to this website and we found information on it virus barrier x9 by the company Antigua and here are some reviews and ratings people have well, it's been rated quite highly and this for Mac users protection solution for business and obviously your home Mac computer about virus barrier X9 Mac users have been misled by the common myth that Macs can't get viruses as we've read this somewhere before and that antivirus software is unnecessary it's a load of baloney the reality is all machines are vulnerable all machines, be it Windows, Mac or Linux or other, they're all vulnerable to viral threats, PUAs, Trojans, malware, etc. The reality is all machines are vulnerable and devious cyber criminals use a variety of malware that threatens Macintosh computers. Worst yet, they're not just targeting Macs, they're after your sensitive personal information and your money. But you can protect your Mac and your precious data with Intego Virus Barrier, the award-winning Mac antivirus software. Intego Virus Barrier provides real-time antivirus protection for Macs and scans files whenever they're accessed to keep your Mac free of malware. Their Mac antivirus software automatically checks for the latest updates to make sure you're protected against the newest threats. Intego Virus Barrier not only protects you from existing Mac threats, it detects PC based malware so you don't spread infected files to friends, family or work colleagues. So 
as we stated earlier, it's like it's a shield like, but it's not going to stop viruses from affecting your computer 100% of the time. We'd say, to be honest, probably about anywhere between 95% to 97 tops. There'll always be a way they'll get in these criminals, back doors, reverse engineering, etc., etc. They may infect websites, put it in the free software or the shareware software or whatever, or it might be pre installed in there. So certain parties, third parties can spy on you. Uh, or just for advertising reasons, business reasons, and so forth. It's not always a conspiracy theory that all are out to get you because they're of this new world order and they're all spying on you or that sort of stuff. No, it's not always the case. It's just business, etc., etc. So their business can grow and so forth. So yeah, you have to be really careful about what you read. You have to look at it, define the words, and come to the reality of what they're actually trying to tell you. Okay. So here it's a protection. It's like a shield against viruses. Okay. So here's the ratings reviews by a certain person. Is the company to 1997 and take a com business virus barrier and product for Mac user computers okay so here's some video screen captures it's not actually video it's a screen capture and it basically tells you through that packaging that software what it does okay your real-time scanning is on your Mac is safe etc safe browsing ignored so you post to set that schedule scans off set that uh, there's a picture there, there's another one here. Okay, begin by choosing your level of cover your level of coverage, minimum, standard or maximum. It's up to you. And you continue, we'd go with maximum. Unless you got a slower, older machine, well you'd probably have to go with minimum or standard. It, it's all up to you at the end of the day. And here's the third picture, which is basically the first picture that we looked at. Okay. And this is what it offers. It's supported for Mac computers, training, documentation, support, phone support, online support. And his content barrier, which is just another name for the same thing probably. And it states Mac users have been misled, etc. etc. And this is basically similar to that, right? And here's another one. Internet securities or packages, right? So we're gonna jump to the website we went through uh, a certain uh, website uh, on our way it's called source forge and it's really annoying because it keeps asking if you're a human verify yourself for it as a human and just ask 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 you'd be there for the next week or so trying to bypass it so we just went straight to the website we've only got one source forge verify your human and read straight there okay so basically it says here pick the right security solution for your Mac and your period of protection is one year to two years and there's the different packages here Mac internet security x9 Mac premium Mac premium bundle with VPN and the different price ranges okay you might be in the US so it will be completely different when you go and purchase it Okay, we have no affiliation with them and they're not paying us. We just saw this and we thought, wow, this would be a good thing for Mac users. Good video alert for them. Here's the contents in the first package. And it has virus barrier and net barrier included. And then you have the second one, Premium Bundle X9. It's got a couple of extra features. Washing machine, content barrier, personal backup. And then the third one has all of them, right? Content barrier, personal backup, and Antigo Privacy Protection VPN, virtual private network for you, included, right? For that price. That you can purchase it for. You can continue if you really like it, and it says here 34 million users, 30 day money back guarantee, free support, secure payment. 
So if you think that you suddenly don't like it, we can you know, ring them up, or get hold of the store, tell them, well, yeah, I don't really like it. Um, it's not really what I wanted. Uh, after all, or well, there's something wrong with it, whatever the reason is, and they should see right and probably refund you. Okay, pick the right security solution for your particular Mac. And again, protection from one year to two years depends on which package you get. And it tells you what it does here. Virus barrier, net barrier, Mac washing machine, content barrier, personal backup, and take a private privacy protection VPN. Okay, different packages again. There's some missing here on the basic. And then the next one, you got one missing. And then the next one, the uh, premium bundle with the VPN, you've got the whole lot. So that's good. And there's your prices there, roughly. Looking for business solutions, it could help you there. Learn more. You can subscribe, give them your email address, and they'll send you uh, many emails about how great their products are. And you should buy this, you should buy that. You can sign up, make an account, etc. You can view their products, they're all here for Mac. Okay, it's only for uh, Mac. It, this. Uh, Virus Barrier X9. It's, we try to find it for Linux and Windows, and that only for Mac users. Okay, and here's some more here. The Tago Content Barrier gives parents powerful tools that can keep help their children safe and protected while online. Safeguard your children's internet access. Keep kids on age-appropriate sites. Yeah, keep them off those dirty, filthy sites, uh, etc. Especially if they're like you know. Maybe they're on a social chat site and, and some weirdo is um, yeah, talking to them or something. So keep them safe, all that sort of stuff. Parents, you know what we're talking about. Okay, um, how can I get Intego Content Barrier? Yeah, it's a premium package and etc. etc. there. There's different prices and what they include again. Okay, you can buy those. Okay, so just buy button up here. Okay, as we see, we're not affiliated to them. We don't get paid by them to promote their products. We just found it interesting, a helpful hint for Mac users. So if you like it, like this video, and you want to know more, then we suggest uh, purchase it. Yeah. If you can afford to, and you want to protect your computer, your Mac, then yeah, think about buying it. Here's some alternatives to uh, virus barrier. They're probably not free as well. Okay. Just basically... Um, other antivirus, internet security, etc. Okay. So, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, add your comments below. Especially if you're a Mac user, because we have no idea about Macs. We wish we had of originally mucked around on a Mac computer, you know, get got to know it and all that sort of stuff. Because it was a job that came up here one time for a Mac user, etc. Real easy, could have got the job if we knew how to use the Mac. Yeah, we were really good at it, but no, no idea. We were too Windows uh, orientated. Knew we eventually went to Linux, so we didn't get the job. We wouldn't have got the job, right? Yeah, um, yeah so hopefully that's a, a good help for Mac users. Yeah, tell us in the comments if you're a Mac user how good it is or how much they, they aren't. We're really interested because we've never used a Mac and uh, that would be interesting. We were thinking about buying one at a later date. Okay, so thank you for watching this, our latest video upload. We hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like, add your comments below. We'll get back to you on those especially if you're a Mac user, and then go share this video and all the other videos on our channel with all those you know.